show that takes place right here in my taxi. All right, let's take a ride to the cash cab. There are 27 cabs in West Lafayette, but there's only one that pays you. Climb into the cash cab and I'll quiz you to your destination. As the meter clicks, the questions get harder and the stakes get higher. If you get stumped, you can shout out for help on the phone or off the street. But be careful, my friend, because in this rig, it's three strikes and you're out. So what do you say? You in? I'm in. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, where are you guys heading today? Uh, we're headed to Menards. Do a little window shopping. All right, that's four miles away. Um, before we ask any questions, what are you guys' names? Where are you from? Tell me a little bit about yourself. Uh, I'll go first. So my name's Aaron. I'm from uh, California. Uh, I'm just here, you know, for college, of course. You just need a quick cab just to go to Menards. Yep, yeah, uh, I'm Bailey. I'm from Indiana, actually. And we're just, we're going to look at some windows. Sweet. Since y'all are going window shopping, how about we have some window questions? So the first question is, if properly taken care of, what type of window has the longest life? Um... Pretty sure wood windows can last up to 30 years. That's that's a pretty long time. Um, if I try and think from the research I had did, you know, since we're getting new windows, composite windows last forever. At least that's what I thought. Composite windows, that's the right answer. <laughs> Next question. What type of window is known to be a great insulator? Uh... I would say composite windows because uh, they lower the cost of heating and air when uh, you buy them, pretty much. You know, I remember reading composite are pretty good, but wood, I'm pretty sure wood's like number one when it comes to insulating. Really keeps that um, hot air out and cold air in. So okay. we'll go with wood. The correct answer is wood windows. <laughs> Question job, three. <laughs> what window is the cheapest to install? Um, I'm pretty sure wood windows are pretty inexpensive to install. And just about anybody can install them, so. Uh, to piggyback on that, I'd say composite windows just because composite windows are my favorite. Well, that is... <laughs> Both the wrong answers. That's strike one. Two more and I'll have to kick you out myself. So let's see if you know this one. It's a no-brainer. What is the first number when spelled out that has an A in it? Hmm. This is a trick question. I feel like this is definitely a trick question. Hmm, let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 1,000. Correct answer. Wow. Let's go. Let's go. We about to get some money. <laughs> All right, question five. So which type of window is the easiest to install? Mm, to be honest, I, I don't really remember. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I could guess, but we already have one strike. That's probably not a good idea. Well, since you said we get a street shout out, let's use that. All right. That works. Hey, excuse me, buddy. Hey, what's up? Uh, could you come here for a quick second? Yeah, no problem. My friend Bailey has to ask you a question. All right, what's up? Which type of window is the easiest to install? That is a weird question to ask, but <laughs> it is really your lucky day because I do install windows professionally for a living. And let me tell you, vinyl windows, that is easy to install. Vinyl? Oh yeah. All right. It's light. They're cheap to buy. Man, any day that I install a lot of vinyl windows, that's a good day. <laughs> All, All right, right man. <laughs> All right. I hope you guys win some money. Hey, appreciate Thanks, it, man. Yeah. Appreciate yeah. it. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> See you guys around. Thanks, See you, man. yeah. All right. Wow, that was really impressive. You guys got lucky because that was correct. Hey. All right. <laughs> All right. Question six. What window is the hardest to maintain? Man, I feel like wood. That's there's so much you gotta do for wood windows. No, nah, bro, no, nah, Bailey. I, I swear, I think it's I think it's vinyl, bro. Why? It has to be, bro. Just I just did a lot of research, man. I just know it's, it has to be vinyl, bro. I say we go with it. 
All right, you did a lot of research. We'll go with it. Right on, man. I am a, I am an expert in this window stuff. So vinyl is your final answer? Final answer. Lock it in. <laughs> All right. Well, turns out Bailey back here was right about the wood windows. Wood is oh, very dude, hard to maintain. Hey, I'm sorry, it, Bailey, man. We lose right. money. It takes uh, a lot to paint repaint it and it can easily rot outside and it's just not the easiest to maintain so all right all, all right. right so what is that strike two strike two strike two all right one more and you're out <sighs> all right we have arrived at menards so here's the deal i've got the money right here you can take it or run or you can stick around risk it all and go double or nothing on a video bonus question I will play the video clip for you and ask you a single question about that clip. If you get it right, you'll leave the cash cab with doubled amount. If you get it wrong, you'll lose everything at the very least last second and leave with nothing but a cab ride. So take a minute and decide what you want to do. What are you thinking? Man, I love money, man, so I say we double or nothing. Let's go for it, double or nothing. All right, that's what we decided. Today's video question is about the White House the home of the President of the United States. Going along with the window theme, your question is, how many windows are in the White House? Man, that's a hard question. <laughs> that is a pretty hard question, but I think I know just the person to call. Just give me one second. All right, all right. I gotta know, who, who are you calling? Hey, man. I'm calling my president, Barack Obama. Oh, no way. Hello? What's up, my president, Barack Obama? Hey, man. I'm. Hey, sorry to bother you on this beautiful uh, Saturday evening. Man, I'm just... I ended up getting caught up in this uh, cash cab, man. And there's just this question that's really, really challenging that I have no idea what the answer is. Oh, you said you're on vacation with the family down in Miami? Oh, I was just in Miami about two weeks ago, man. Dang, I wish I could have seen you. All right, man, let me just cut to the chase. So the question was, basically, how many windows are in the uh, White House? All right, so 147. All right, I appreciate it, uh, Mr. President, appreciate it. Hey, man, just know you'll always be my president, man. I love you. All right, man, you, you guys uh, have fun in Miami. Appreciate it. All right, so I think we got our answer, 147. 147, the final answer? Yes. Correct, you got it right. Yes. Hey. It's a TV game show that takes place right here in my taxi. All right, let's take a ride to the cash cab. All right, where are we heading today? Um, today we're heading to Chipotle. You know, trying to get some dinner tonight. That's six miles away, so we'll get started. All right. What's your name? Where are you from? Tell me a little about yourself. Uh, my name is Christian. Um, I'm from Grand Rapids, Michigan originally, but you know, I'm here at Purdue studying uh, construction management. So yeah, just, just the usual. Nice, nice. Well, we have a little window theme going on with our questions, so right. if you'd like to answer some questions about that, we'll get started. So the first question is, what are the five types of windows? Hmm. Well, I know we got wood and aluminum. Then oh, there's composite. Ooh, there's vinyl for sure and then uh, number five. Oh, aluminum clad. There we go Those are all five types. That is correct Second question what type of window was extremely popular in the 1950s and 60s and has the reputation for not being very energy efficient? Mm. I'm not like 100% sure on this one, but I know aluminum windows aren't very energy efficient so I'm gonna go with aluminum, you know? Aluminum is correct. They have terrible insulation, but they have improved a lot since the 60s. Good to know, good to know. Third question, how long does the average aluminum window last? The 
average aluminum window? Well, I don't have aluminum windows, so I've, um, I don't know, maybe 20 years. I feel like they last a long time. 20 years is around the right answer, but it's typically 45 years. Oh, well, I got, it's kind of around the right <laughs> Well, so is that a strike? Yes, that would be a strike. Oh, so I guess we've got two more to go. Yep. Two more to go, all right. Fourth question, what is the strongest type of window yet one of the lightest? I'm, I'm kind of sensing a pattern here. I, I feel like it's aluminum again, geez, we got, because I mean, I know it's really strong as aluminum's a strong metal and it's decently light too. It's a lot lighter than wood or something, I don't know. So I'm, go with, go with aluminum. Aluminum is correct. All right, making some money. <laughs> Next question, what type of window is the lightest? The lightest. Well, you said last one was one of the lightest, so it wasn't that. Um, I, vinyl? Vinyl seems pretty light. Like, vinyl siding's not very ha heavy, so I'm gonna go with vinyl. That is correct. Next question is a surprise video question. Roll the tapes. The surprise video question is about 1016 Vine Street in West Lafayette, Indiana. The question is, what type of window would be best to install in 1016 Vine Street? Well, I'd probably, well, I know aluminum windows are um, pretty light, um, pretty cheap to buy, and not too hard to install, but I know that they're very poorly insulated and because we're in Indiana I feel like that would not be a good choice because um, the winter here is going to get pretty cold so you're going to want a window that insulates pretty well um, wood windows they're really heavy um, they they insulate really well which is good for in, uh, living in Indiana but they are really expensive because I know a lot of people like the look of wood windows so a lot of people are willing to pay extra um, for those wood windows and they're also really high upkeep because you gotta like paint them every couple of years and um, like if they're damaged they're hard to like do quick fixes on and uh, composite windows or I guess vinyl windows vinyl windows are really cheap to buy they're pretty light um, they insulate pretty well but the problem with uh, vinyl is that they don't last very long because they're so light and for big panes of glass they can't support big panes because they don't have the structural integrity to support that so I'm gonna say no for that one too which just leaves us with composite which is a good answer because composite I know increases the value of your home because they last so long they insulate very well um, and their biggest drawback is they're pretty expensive to buy but in the long run they'll probably save you some money because I know they increase value of your home and you save a lot on like heating and cooling just because you know you're not gonna be losing all that air but so I'm gonna go with uh, composite composite windows is correct all right next question vinyl windows are the only windows that warp in the sunlight true or false um I don't know I feel like a vinyl are the they're the lightest they're kind of pl plat. I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna say true. I feel like that's definitely true. That is false. That is wrong Ooh. because wood windows can also warp too, and many other aspects of that. So. Well, all right. Well, I, I still got one. I Second can get one strike. more wrong. All right. All right. We're do doing good still. All right. The last and final question is: What is the average cost of a composite window? Oh, two hard ones at the end. A tricky one. Mm, I don't do a ton of window shopping, but I'm gonna go with like three, four hundred dollars. That is also wrong. Your oh. final strike, they are around seven fifty to eleven hundred dollars. Oh, oh gosh. Right. Well, uh, get out. I guess I have to go. Well, Bye. no money. You made no money. <laughs> Ugh.